Hi everyone, it's Jeanette back with um, a little craft along with me and it's a challenge from um, Paper Crafter poss Possibilities Crazy Crafters. I'm not sure if I got that right, but anyway. PPCC <clears throat> over on Facebook. We've got a challenge that Nat's put down and it's to make tickets and we've got to use... Um, scrap paper stamps and um, buttons so I did a craft haul and I think that one will be up before this one so there's I've got lots of little buttons in here so I'll see if I can use some of those I've also got this roll of um, tickets but I've also got a stamp a, a punch that does um, cuts out tickets so I did this here a little while ago. This is my um, one of my multimedia challenges and I made some um, pieces and I thought I might just punch out. I'll see how it goes because this has got the mesh on it. Um, see if it will punch the mesh. Oh, it does. And with this one, so actually let me just put my, I'll put a, this down be able to see it a bit better I think <clears throat> yeah and it does little teeny weeny baby ones so there's some scrap hey so I'll do a couple of these and I might do some on the other part side that hasn't got the um, got as much of the mesh on it and then we'll get different textures just do a couple of those as well. So I hope everyone's well. It's Saturday here. I'm not sure if this is going to be going up on Saturday, but um, <clears throat> we'll see how uh, how I go. So there we go. We've got some little stamp. We've got some little teeny weeny ones. And then I'll take a few of these off. I mean, we've got, oh, we've got four of those as well. So. See, see what we can do with them. Let's pop them back up there. Okay, so we've got to have some scrap paper. I found this little bag that I did some tea dye paper, coffee paper, uh, coffee stained papers in there. Okay, so I'm going to co cover the whole. Um, the whole thing. Let's see if we've got on this. <clears throat> oh dear me. Fingers, fingers, fingers. I started last night. I've got a sleep at me machine trialing it to see how we go, whether it is some sleep at me happening. I mean every man and his dog seems to be uh, to have sleep at me these days but um yeah so we'll, we'll see how it goes it's a little bit strange to start with but i finally got off to sleep oh look what i've done i've covered the wrong side that doesn't matter We'll decorate the other side and we'll have this other side as it is, the original sort of tickets. Now, just a little bit of useless information probably. Um, when I do these little circles, if you don't feel like cutting them out, Just get my circle punch little and just go along. Might be that's a little bit bigger than it should be, but that's all right. And 
I should have perhaps got the smaller one. There we've got that. Okay. Now we haven't got the perforations on there, have we? So um, I'm probably going to use a little bit more than what Nat suggested because I just want to put those perforations on there. And this is just a um, just a little bit of decoration just to make it look a little bit authentic probably not really but okay just makes it look a little bit authentic and I watched Deb this morning and she uh, hint and said well if, I'm not sure if we're if supposed to and I thought well if it's good enough for Deb it's good enough for me <clears throat> That's Deb Ricks over on um, String and Scissors. I'll leave her link below because she's uh, done a great tutorial on uh, on her um, ticket challenge. Uh, just down there. So... Now, scrap paper, we've got that part, we've got that scrap paper, and this was scrap paper down here as it is, <coughs> but there's a whole load of scrap stamps I've got to get, um, got some really little um, Mackie, my little Mackie stamps. Um, so let's see if any of those might work. Um, it's a little bag, I think this is the one, it's got all the little ones that little different ones. I might be able to utilize one of those. So I'll just see which ones are the small maybe or big or fit the bigger ones. And if a, that snail's a little bit small as is I think these are even smaller. Let's see what we can do with those, huh? Everything I forgot about the, the buttons and the other uh, stamps. Now I need a little piece of one is doesn't really show up that much does it um pieces of paper I've got there.
Just a few little bits here and there. I'm dying to put a little bit of lace or ribbon on there. But that's not in the description of what we're about to use. Oops. Now I'm getting sticky fingers. Let's see if we can put this one back on and then I might just get a little bit of it on the Little ones in there. Oh, I sweep the foot. It's little. I suppose I don't even have to really use the the side that's got the pattern paper on. I could have just used the... Hmm. I could have used the other side, but that's all right. This will do. This is looks like that on the bit of texture at the back. And... Where did I put them? Uh -huh. I've got my little stamps here that I think I've got love written in. I'm going to do that little one. They're nice too. Okay, thanks. Hmm, I like that. Okay, coffee's ready. I better go and have it. Hey, I will be back. Let that dry and I'll be back. Back again, coffee in hand. Left him out there. Okay, it's a beautiful day here. It's a bit windy, but it's, uh, yeah, it's nice. Okay, well, that looks good. Hey, yeah, what am I going to do for the others? I'm not going to do much the same. So I suppose I could keep the keep the theme going, couldn't I? Keep the theme going on this little one. Then they can just be uh, broken apart and used uh, individually. And I just wonder if I think a couple on the other side. <coughs> Gosh. And just put um, perhaps a couple of numbers. Let's just break a random numbers in apart. Yeah, great little things. I've got these um, on AliExpress ages ago. Um, I ordered them and they finally arrived. They're great little. Okay, you might put you there. Um, probably got a little background stamp somewhere. Where did I put them all? I had them in a little... I had them all together. That's what happens when you tidy up. Perhaps 
just on the back as a background. Nice, I think. This is a Kaiser Craft stamp that looks like hasn't even been used yet. I've got a whole load of, um, I'll have to show you one day, um, what I use for my um, ephemera bits and my, there, that's what this is. It's an old um, video case and I just put things in. So I must put sort of things like this in there as well and I've just got them all lined up on shelves um, up here. And they look... Um, they're really good. Some I did start when I first did it. I put them in um, lots of different. Um, <coughs> pardon me again. Golly, little frog in the throat. Um, yeah, that looks nice. Um, in old scrapbook paper to use up my scraps. So perhaps one day I'll um, show you how I did that if anyone's interested. Um, it works out really nicely and somewhere to put your bits and pieces. Okay, so we might do this. We might even just get a little bit of paper and I'll just tear it around it and folded it in halves and quarters like that and I'm just going to scrunch it so it's a little scrunchy I put those on her ear down. I wonder if that's too big. better isn't it It's just highlighting that little bit. You can see the the pattern of the. Um, it's like a um, texture. It, it, it's a strip of um, tape that you put on walls when you're um, going over them with plaster. I guess you'd call it plaster tape, wouldn't you? So we've got that one. Let's put another word I've got there is free. And I'll 
said I've got it wrong. Oh no, there you go, I've got it right for a change. Okay, I might just get a little bit of music paper. Where did I put you? <clears throat> just a little bit of Just across that way. I think that's upside down, but that'll be fine. What button do we use this time? Now folded that in four. <coughs> I think I've just got a little box and it's got a whole load of these little punches from um, stamping up and others. And I'll just keep them handy to uh, use for little bits of ephemera. Did I? Yeah, I did push that down. Okay, so if we just put one there. Then <clears throat> we've got one flat. End of my pokey tool and just poke those. one offset it a bit so it's still a little bit raised up when it's dry you can make it a little bit so just offset and put the neck what happens when you get dicky fingers eh? like that and you're putting too much in your hand <coughs> Oops, now the magnet stuck to my uh, tweezers, my forceps. Okay. Now, they're a little bit big. I don't think I've got any real. Oh, no, no. Did I say yes I do? Let me get these back in. I've got some of those little boxes that have got the different compartments in them. So I might have to use them for the buttons. Well they're very handy to just see them in the packets. <coughs> Now I'll just have to see where I found saw that little buddy one. She's too big. There it is. Come out, come out. There it is. Let's see if that's a... Yeah. So I'll just pour a bit of glue on that. It's a bit much, but I'd rather it stick than not. This has got a raised and a, whoops, so 
by these guys. Yeah, they. I like them. Look. Got a bit of everything in here, little beads and all. It's a real little treasury box. Okay, so we'll turn these down. How am I in? Oh gosh, I hope I wasn't camera for all that. <clears throat> so we've got these now. Okay. I love this little fella. Of him. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. If I just pop the head up, turn it over to one side. Yeah, he's gone a little bit um, smudgy, but that's the background that it is. So, so we've got him there, and it says living. He's living, living the dream. just popped in a little area of a nature journal yeah I've got to find some buttons now I've got some where are they in here I wonder if I've got any of the little brown ones left these are some that are from stamping up I've got brown but I've got a little yellow one um It's got a bit of purple hue on the back. Or do we just do the... No, I like that one. We'll just pop him on. It doesn't have to be a lot. <coughs> I've got the scrap paper, the stamp and the button. And that's a simple one. So they don't have to be real... A real lot of stuff. Perhaps this one. I'm going to close that or I'll be in trouble with them all over the joint. Um, what's on some of these? Nothing really exciting. Nothing that grabs me. Nothing that grabs me. Sorry, I'm, I should have done this all before, shouldn't I? <clears throat> I'm 
it's got bead. I wonder if I can find a bead. I'm sure I can here somewhere. And then it's got the definition. Let's see how much of that we can utilise. I think this was the first lot of... Um, tea dyeing or coffee dyeing that I ever did. And I found it the other day just stuck in one of my little drawers. When you're cleaning, you wonder what you find. You find some amazing stuff. <coughs> so this is just going to go on there like that. That's a little leaf. So that's just a little bit of embellishing. What's this one? Oh no, that's some flowers. That might be nice. Oh, just a little bit of... It's going to be very fine. Well, it's a background left now. We're gonna, I'll just make it a background. And that one's come up a little bit darker. Just a bit of background. And where is the bead? They're a little like... Um, I can't even think where, which, where it was that we had them in here. These are like buttons, aren't they? Just like little clear ones. I might keep those in that little video box because it's I might even be able to pop. Let's put them in there. Because they're sort of a bit like those. Because they're clear, we'll just put three on and see what happens. Ah, good. Try something different, huh? And that would be nice just on... You could put some material on the back of that later and make it like a little bit of a cluster. I like that. The glue has made the ink um, smudge on the back. Where are we? Can you see there? And it's sort of coming through the, the clear button. I like it. Okay, how long have we been going? Oh, it's half an hour. I might leave it there. Um, we can do something with those. And uh, I'll just show you what we've done. And I think they're a bit cute. Like I said, the, the long strip, you can rip off and just pop into it, you know, slip it into a little pocket. Um, and the bottoms you can use as little um, bits to go onto um, material for little clusters. So there you go, Nat. Hope I've done met the criteria. I've enjoyed doing that. And um, I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, happy crafting and bye for now.